Becky, are you in bed yet? Almost, Mom. Okay, you need your sleep, honey. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. Your first day of school, and it's gonna be great. Good night, Mommy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, honey. Hugs and kisses. Did you hear that, Barney? My first day of school. I wonder if I'll like it right away. I loved going on the car right away. Will school be like that? I wish I knew. Whoa! Oh, oh, hi, Becky. Oh, oh, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> uh, oops. Oh, looks like I got a little carried away. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> I can't be dreaming because I can't sleep. Why not? I keep thinking about my first day of school. Oh, it's going to be super de duper. <laughs> school is lots of fun. I guess so, but I'm just not sure. Well, that's because school is new, and everybody wonders what something new is going to be like. They do? Uh -huh. <laughs> I keep hoping that school will be fun, like... Eating corn on the cob? You were just pretending. That's right. I used my imagination. Sometimes imagining new things makes them easier to try. So I could imagine what school would be like? Right. You know, it's just like I was telling my friends the other day. With imagination, you can go anywhere and do anything. Close your eyes and you will find there are pictures in your mind, things that you can see and feel. All those things are very real. Does it matter where you are? Make believe and there you are. You can be most anywhere when your imagination takes you there. Imagine you're a cuckoo clock. I'm not a cuckoo clock. All day long you go tick tock, tick tock. Oh, Close your eyes and wish real hard. Whoa! Oh, a cuckoo clock is what you are. That's right. Imagine you're a bird that flies. Not a bird that flies. Soaring high through the sky. Ooh. Spread your wings and feel so free. Whee! <laughs> A bird is what you're bound to be! Imagine, imagine, and you can be anything you choose. Imagine, imagine, just be sure you never lose the power to imagine you're an elephant. I'm a giant elephant carrying a big long trunk. So, it's with me everywhere I go. No. Who's to say it isn't so? Let's go! what makes it an adventure. <laughs> In fact, the first time you try anything new, it's an adventure. Can you remember some of the very first times you went someplace new or tried something you'd never done before? Well, I remember 
remember the first time I rode my bike. I was a little scared, but the training wheels made it okay. <laughs> I rode all the way down the sidewalk by myself. Oh, that was an adventure. <laughs> Can you remember another first? I remember the first time I was going to go camping. Mm -hmm. I was a little scared about sleeping in a tent. But my daddy had a good idea, and when I really went camping, I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, another adventure. <laughs> you see, trying new things can make you feel good about yourself. And when you think about it, there's a first time for everything and everyone. <laughs> you know something, Molly? I think Barney's right. There's a first time for everything. Like there's a first time that you've met a friend. When you met a friend, who did you meet, Molly? Bennett? And Bennett, did you meet Molly? Mm -hmm. What did you guys do? Um, we played. You played? And what did you play? Mm -hmm. Candyland. Did you play Candyland? Mm -hmm. Did you ever play Candyland? Well, was it fun? Yeah. And who won? Uh, I forgot. You forgot who won? Well, maybe it was a tie, and that's good. A tie like this tie. <laughs> <laughs> and who was your first best friend? My friend Riley. Oh, Riley. What was it like when you first met Riley? Scary. Was it? Where'd you meet her? At my house. At your house? She came to visit you? You weren't sure if she was going to like you? No. But did she? I knew she would. How did you get her to like you? Uh, I just sort of asked her to play a game with me. And we played some games and we, and we did it. And we just felt like we were friends. And then you were just friends. Well, that's easy. So if you just ask someone to play a game with you, pretty soon you'll be friends, huh? That's good. Oh, well, well, look who's here. Those are my goldfish, Bubbles and Splash. What nice names. Are they your very first pets? Uh-huh. I wasn't sure how to take care of them at first, mm -hmm. but now I'm really good at it. Oh, what do you do? I talk to them, mm -hmm. and I feed them just the right amount of fish food. Oh, I see. And once a week, my dad helps me change their water. Oh, I can tell that you're doing a very good job. It almost looks like your fish are smiling. They are? <laughs> well, you do need to use your imagination. <laughs> you know, I saw a whole bunch of happy animals just the other day. Where? Well, my friends and I visited a beautiful farm way out in the country. And the farmer had so many animals, I could hardly count them all. Really? Uh-huh. He had lots and lots and... Oh, no! Oh, wait! Oh, what? Don't oh, stop! Oh, my! Lots of animals. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. On his farm, he had a goat. E I E I O. With a bow bow here and a bow there. Here a bow there, a bow everywhere. Bow bow. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on his farm, he had a chicken. E I E I O. With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck. But you know, that farmer was a little boy once. And I'm sure it was a real adventure for him when he got his very first pet. <laughs> oh, there's a lot to think about. <laughs> Thank you. Barney's right. It does take a lot of thought. Taking care of animals is hard work. They need to be fed, they need a safe place to play, and they need lots of love. Would you like to meet a very special animal for the first time? Yeah. <laughs> 
Like this one, Captain? Hi, Margo. Hi, how are you? And she's got a kangaroo named Flyer. This is Flyer. She's a baby gray kangaroo. Would you like to feed her, Captain? I'd love to. Hi, Flyer. She's about a year and a half old. Hi, Flyer, look. There. Would you like to pet her? Here. <laughs> Put your paw there. Feel, feel her tail. Is that the first time you've ever pet a kangaroo? <laughs> I think it's the first time. When she was a baby, she stayed inside of a pocket or a pouch in her mother, didn't she? That's right. When kangaroos are born, they're about the size of a grape. Wow. And they stay in that pocket where it's nice and safe and secure. That's right, Captain. In fact, they stay in the pouch until they're big enough and strong enough to come out, and then they start hopping around. Their first hops. <laughs> I guess there is a first time for everything, isn't there? Look at all these nice things. <laughs> I think Teddy likes your school supplies. <laughs> Sorry, Teddy. The first day of school is just for kids, like me. Only, there'll be a lot of kids I don't know. Oh, well, that will be another part of your adventure. The first time you meet some brand new friends. But there's going to be a whole room full of them. Oh, that's okay. Not long ago, I went to a very fancy restaurant. <laughs> oh, hello, how are you? Oh, pleased, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, there were lots of people I didn't know, but I decided to make all of them into new friends. How did you do that? Well, Maestro. Well, they have drops and gum drops, so what a rain that would be. What's he doing out there? Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah
<laughs> then what? Then I did it again. <laughs> oh, that's just how I felt. <laughs> well, I remember my first ride on an airplane, but it wasn't anything like that. Oh, a ride on an airplane? <laughs> that's a first that really is an adventure. <laughs> First, we went really fast on the ground, and then we were up in the air, and then... <laughs> then what? <laughs> then, poof, we popped right through the clouds, and we were flying above them. It was... it was... Super D Duper! Right, Super D Duper! <laughs> I hear you went on an airplane. Yes. Were you scared? Uh, sort of. Sort of scared? Yeah. And then what happened? Um, I got used to it. You got used to being on the airplane? Yeah. Did you eat on this plane? Peanuts. You had That's peanuts? That's all. That's all just peanuts? Peanuts in a Sprite. Peanuts in a Sprite. Yeah. It's kind of fun to eat on an airplane, isn't it? Yeah. Did you watch a movie on the airplane? Yeah. You did? Did you like it? I had the lean over like that to see. Before you got on an airplane for the first time, you were scared. Yeah. Then you flew, then you weren't scared anymore. Would you get on an airplane again now? Yeah. You would? Well, I got brave on my second plane because I knew nothing was gonna happen. Mommy, have you ever ridden an airplane? Oh, yes, I have. And there's one airplane ride I'll never forget. <laughs> Zoom! of hitting the hay, I think it's about time you better head back to bed. <laughs> you do have a big day tomorrow, your first day of school, and that's a special adventure in anyone's life. Really? Uh-huh. It's a day that you'll never forget. I guess my first day of school will be an adventure, won't it? Oh, a big, exciting first adventure. <laughs> I hope I can get to sleep. Oh, I'm sure you'll sleep just fine. Try closing your eyes and using your imagination. Imagine having lots of fun at school and meeting lots of new friends. Imagine learning new things and dreaming new dreams. And remember, imagination can help make your dreams come true. I'm imagining. Oh, <laughs> good. I love you. tomorrow and all your tomorrows. Thank you, Barney. school that's a special adventure in anyone's life Ooh, 
a big, exciting first adventure. It's a day that you'll never forget.